Welcome to the Business of Being Healthy, where we are passionate about treating our health as good as we treat our wealth. Shelly Bryan here, and I am obsessed with sharing real life experiences and wisdom to help save you time, heartache, and money as you continue to grow personally and professionally. Twice a week, we push aside that BS to take massive intentional action. And I promise by tuning in, you will receive the straightforward talk you've been waiting for, filled with actionable steps that will inspire you to achieve the health and wealth you desire while you are building your empire. All right. So this episode is truly derived from listening to another episode um, on a different podcast, but I just wanted to dive into one of the topics a little bit further because I have been learning more about this and I wanted to share it with you because I know there is immense benefit. This is something I wish I had, which would have saved me time, heartache, and money um, had I implemented sooner, specifically in business, but also in health. And so I want to start it off with a quote, and then we're going to dive right in. You guys are going to want to stay all the way to the end on this one, because I truly think that this episode is going to change the way that you look at reaching your goals. Okay, let me just start off there. But I want to share this quote with you. All I want to know is where I'm going to die, so I never go there. These famous words are from Charlie Munger. And if you didn't know him, I didn't know him very well. I still don't know him well, but I didn't know of him, right? Everyone's probably heard of Warren Buffett, right? billionaire, extremely intelligent uh, investor. Well, Charlie Munger is the business partner of Warren Buffett. There's a lot of history there. I encourage you to go research about him. He's actually, it's it's brilliant. It's very eye-opening. But Munger attributes some of his success to his unique way of thinking, which he calls inversion. Now, inversion is a way of thinking that involves planning for the opposite of what you want to happen It's totally counterintuitive approach to problem solving that has been used by great thinkers, scientists, stoics, and innovators throughout history. And here's the best part. I'm learning this too, but I'm sharing it with you, is that anyone can use it. So the inversion technique originally came from a German mathematician If you've been following me at all, math is not my strong suit. So anytime I can learn some of these uh, principles and ways that I can apply them, it's so powerful. But it originated from the German mathematician Carl Jacobi, who made significant contributions in different like scientific fields throughout his career. And he's best well known for solving problems by using the simple strategy translated as invert always invert. So Carl Jacobi believed that hard problems could be solved easier and quicker by expressing them in the opposite way. Now stick with me here because this took me a second to grasp. And once I have grasped it, I have looked at things within our construction company, within the podcast, within other businesses that uh, maybe didn't work out the way I wanted, that I wish I had the skill to see problems sooner and make choices because of them. Of course, inversion is not something that we're taught in school, but it's an absolute crucial skill for entrepreneurs who want to solve difficult problems in a unique way and make good decisions constantly and consistently. Who wouldn't want that? Seriously. So by using inversion, you can gain a competitive advantage in anything that you do. Literally, I have taken this method now and like reflected on so many different businesses that Chris or I have created, and I wish I knew this sooner. That's why I'm sharing it with you today here on The Business of Being Healthy. So I am going to use this theory of inversion to highlight the five keys to terrible health while building your career. So I'm relating this to health in this episode, but you will easily see that you can apply this to business is where it was commonly used first, but I just cannot get over the fact that our health and how we feel 
truly translates to how much money we make and how much wealth we're able to generate. So these are the five key keys to terrible health while building your career. Stick with me, it will all make sense. So let's start by asking what are the most common mistakes that professionals make in their health while they are building their career? So number one, I have not enough sleep or poor sleep. So poor sleep equals poor work. Poor sleep equals you're probably a little short tempered, not only with your family and your loved ones, but probably with those at work and maybe even some technology. Maybe you're learning something new. If you have poor sleep, you're not able to function at your highest level and perform at your highest level. Your body can't repair itself if you're not getting that sleep. So what could you do? You could set a timer on when to go to sleep. You could not have the electronics before you go to sleep. You could make sure that you are not hitting snooze in the morning where you're not getting very good sleep. You could take, you know, maybe you create some type of sleep protocol like a melatonin or different music to help you get better sleep. But that is one of the key things that most professionals lack when it comes to good health as they're building their career. Not enough sleep or poor sleep. So that's number one. Number two, not eating throughout the day or eating too much throughout the day. So are you snacking like crazy? Do you have treats brought into your office that you circle that room, that little lunch room, and you go in there and you just like, oh, I can just have a little bite here or there, but you keep going back for bites and bites. Is it mean that you're not eating at all throughout your day? That is a common one for most professionals. We don't stop to eat. So I want you to keep this in mind. No Food means no fuel to perform. So if you think of yourself like a race car, you're not just going to go with crappy tires that you've been uh, around the track on too many times, and or you're not going to start a race with a half a tank of gas and expect to finish. You have to have that fuel. So what does that look like? Maybe that's incorporating a meal prep service. It's scheduling it in your calendar. It's telling those around you, like maybe your assistant or your peers or coworkers, that these are some of the goals that you want to have when it comes to eating. Maybe it's asking that those snacks or treats that are brought into the office that don't align with your meal plan, don't make it into the office. These are things. So that is with inversion. You want to look at, I'm not eating enough throughout my day or I'm eating too much. Number three, you're working too late to exercise. Ah, the common one, right? I get it. I have been there too, where I am so excited about what I am working on that I don't take the time to go exercise, right? So basically, I can tell you this is like any excuse, any excuse that you can make up, right? You're working too late because it's really not a priority. Your health is not a priority at the moment. So what are some things that you could do to prevent this from happening? You can change up your schedule. Maybe instead of the afternoon, you start working out in the morning, or maybe it's your lunch break. You try different things to find where it fits best in your schedule. Maybe you put on your gym clothes before you actually leave the office. Or what I've had a lot of success with is schedule meetings after your exercise, and invite that person to exercise with you. Let me tell you, some of the best meetings have come from that. I've even uh, had a speaking engagement where we did exercise and then we're able to speak right after. It was phenomenal. So let's move on to number four, is having no accountability partner. So there's a common term out there where, whether it's in any type of coaching or training or courses, is that when you pay, you pay attention right? So your subconscious person, your subconscious bitch, for lack of a better word, is not enough to sit there and keep you going back to the gym, to keep you eating consistently. When you invest in yourself by hiring a coach, hiring a trainer, schedule a business relationship meeting there, like I just shared, when you start having that accountability that's greater than just yourself, Watch how you stay consistent. So number five, thinking that their health can wait, right? Your health can wait till you get this promotion you're working so hard for. Your health can wait till after you close this next account. Your health can wait until my kids are in high school or they're out of, you know, they're off into college. 
Let me tell you that your health can't wait. You want more accounts? You want more business? You need more energy to do that. And that's where your health is that secret weapon to bring it all together. So when I looked at inversion, I was looking at what mistakes commonly happen with professionals and their health when they're trying to excel in their career, right? And so these are five keys to terrible health while building your career. I shared the the five keys that this is terrible, right? So you're not enough sleep, not eating throughout the day or eating too much, snacking throughout the day. You're working too late, so you forget to exercise. You have no accountability partner, partner, and you're thinking your health can wait. Those are five key things to terrible health, and I don't wish them on any of them. But now that we've looked at them, we can see how it happens and we can create strategies to not let that happen. So I hope that you can see how you can apply inversion, the thought process, the mindset of inversion to your life, your health, your business, your career. And really to summarize, you want to start by identifying the problem or the decision you need to make. Then think about what you don't want to happen and you start working backwards from there. This can help you uncover potential obstacles or pitfalls or develop a plan to overcome them, right? Once you see them, now you can be ready that if they show their ugly face, that you're there to take them out. So this is something, like I shared, that I wished that I had earlier, not only in my health, but when I was building my career. And I'll specifically speak real quick to the pharmaceutical industry, right? In corporate, we're always taught, create these goals. And then you create your plan, your tactics and your strategies on like how you're going to get there. We present these all the time. I even think that this skill can be applied when you're like pitching a client, right? Here's all the potential pitfalls that we're expecting and here's how we're going to address them. So the problems would arise when I was in the pharmaceutical industry, right? And that's a highly regulated industry. And especially in my last role where I was in marketing and these problems would arise, but we were always so focused on the goal that we never took time to look at any of the potential problems or roadblocks. So when they showed their ugly face, they slowed us down. They prevented us from reaching our goal. They cost us more money. And as you know that this podcast, if you've been hanging around here, you know this is all about saving you time, money, and heartache. And I absolutely wish I knew about this inversion principle when it came to creating strategies towards my goals, right? Before, I I wish I had this so much early, not only in my health, but in business. And so I am hoping that by sharing this with you, it will help you avoid a lot of these problems altogether. Let's see what the common mistakes are and then let's create the strategies on how to not let that happen. And just like Charlie Munger said, is all I wanna know is where I'm gonna die. So I'll never go there. Thanks so much for tuning in to this short, quick episode. I hope you found value in it and I cannot wait to see you next time.